A budget is an essential business need often neglected. If you're avoiding this, you have plenty of company. I understand. We just want to have more than enough and not experience the tedium of figuring it out. As the founder of CJ and Jane Train, a company inspired to help independent personal trainers and studio owners thrive, I would be overjoyed to help. What is a budget? Our favorite definition, telling your money where to go instead of wondering where it went. John C. Maxwell. Instead of throwing caution to the wind, hop in that driver's seat, open a roadmap, or ways, and let's cruise to our chosen destination. Two powerful proactive budget tips. Look back to move forward. Take a historical glance at your budget numbers to best forecast the future. Avoid spending what you have not yet earned. The most common problem I see among independent personal trainers and studio owners is not having a current budget. They do not have an understanding of their numbers from the last three to six months, let alone the last three years. Is this you? Do you know your budget in terms of projecting what you are going to realistically earn and what you are going to spend? All with room for unexpected needs. First, let's be clear. Anyone can make up a projection. As someone that watched a fair amount of startup pitches, it's easy to say a company is going to earn a certain amount. For example, I can project that I'm going to pull in millions in the next couple of years with my new real estate venture. Great, right? No. A true and useful revenue projection is based on historical income and realistic improvements or changes within the business or industry. We can't pull numbers out of thin air. It must be rooted in past performance and legitimate research. What if you thought you pulled in $100,000 last year as an independent trainer, but in reality, you only earned $82,000 because you forgot the personal loan that you put into the business and the series of discounted sessions sold over the summer months. Then, Armed with misinformation, you set next year's revenue goal at $110,000, which is a $28,000 increase, not a $10,000 increase in income. This is unknowingly a 34% increase in revenue goal as opposed to a 10% increase goal. Yikes. In this example, you're unknowingly wearing a financial weight vest and basing goals off a of guesstimate in income, not actual income. We wouldn't allow an exact weight loss goal for our clients without actually weighing them on our scale first. Let's not do it with numbers in our budgets. Projections need to be based on facts, be realistically attainable, and supported by historical data. This is part of why it is so important to know our past numbers. Next, we need to look ahead. What expenses are we anticipating? Think of it this way. You have a smartphone, you can choose to back it up regularly or face the music when it breaks down without a backup. Lost data, lost photos, limited communication, potential scheduling problems, and a giant headache. We have all been there. It's a mess, yes? The moral of the crash device story is proactively preparing for the future. Projected expenses work the same way. What are you going to need? What changes are about to happen? What would make the future easier for you as a practitioner and for your business and team? Anticipate these upcoming expenses. Vacations or time off, new equipment, new devices, studio lease, payroll, investments in marketing, continuing education for your team or for yourself, saving for the unexpected. Are you prepared to cover these expenses? I encourage everyone to look at their budget. Seek help in the process. Make your starting point as simple as possible, and no matter what, just start. We have some great tools at CJ and Jane Train. Material in the nine-week turnaround, 21 days to independence, help you through it. Even if you don't like math or looking at the numbers, which is so common, the courses have simplified everything for even the most reluctant practitioner and provide a step-by-step -step blueprint for financial success. Empower yourself and your business. Move forward with knowledge of your past numbers and a realistic projection of your future earnings and expenses. Easy, concrete action steps. Track all deposits from every client from the previous year and get a sense of your true gross revenue. 
review your total transactions on your work credit card or messy pile of receipts or email folder to get the big picture of expenses from the last year. These are both rewarding, effective first steps and so much better than having only a suspicion of your income and spending. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Benjamin Franklin. Learning new things can be unnerving. It's understandable that so many people do not budget. When you really see how much you spend compared to what you actually earn, it's not a great moment. Take some deep breaths and remember that sometimes it has to sting a bit before it can get better. I am going to argue that ultimately it is a really great moment. Stay with me. You then come from a place of powerful knowledge and have eliminated false perceptions. Once we look at our historical data, we avoid overspending and prevent perpetuating a problem. But what if we haven't created the roadmap yet? You might reach your destiny eventually, but it will include unnecessary wrong turns and stress. Why not get in the driver's seat now and forge a better path with a great budget? Here's a very common example of what we're spending in our field, and it's an important lesson to learn from. When we sell, specifically when we are selling a large package, which is not something I support, but it's something that still goes on out there, it takes time for clients to burn through and use all of those training sessions. You know the drill. You're selling a 40 second package, a 40 session package in January and receiving a big chunk of revenue all at once. The 40 session client may not burn through these 40 sessions for four or five months, especially if you have not set up an intense training schedule for them. As a studio owner, your payroll obligation must still be met, or you are an independent trainer. Resisting the urge to spend all of that money right away can be really daunting. That client is still consuming time in your schedule, but will not pay again for months. Neglecting a traffic helicopter view, i.e. budget, becomes a significant pain point for our business finances. I have seen many trainers endure this moment and even some studio owners. The impression of financial success due to a temporary boost in revenue spurs emotional decision making. But with a budget, they could see the upcoming drop in revenue as a result of large packages sold. I find people that do budget have moved through finance fear, experience significantly greater success, Ultimately, hold on to your seat here, they actually become excited about budgets. We can relate as trainers though, can't we? If a client doesn't drink water and you encourage them with a baby step option to improve their water consumption, sometimes in six months, they are water evangelists. They now love water. Gradually drinking water consistently allow them to feel the difference. You don't have to encourage them anymore because the feeling of being hydrated and habit is the motivator. The same can happen to you with your numbers. When we feel the power of being informed and reduce our stress with proactivity, the habit and work are minimized by feeling the benefits motivation. Wrapping up, here are our takeaways. One, know your numbers and forecast your future. Be proactive and look at the history of your revenue and expenses by writing them down. Create a roadmap for your future. When we are proactive, we eliminate the need for a fire drill, reactive response. It's having that metaphorical spare tire in your trunk. You don't know exactly what is going to come up, but you are as prepared as possible. Number two, don't spend what you don't have. It might hurt a little bit at first, but we are not adverse to pain, we're trainers. You will avoid misspending that temporary boost in revenue because you have thought through the future expenses that draw from that boost. Ultimately, you will be empowered. Your renewed personal training business will responsibly grow into a lucrative, sustainable entity with financial shock absorbers that can handle the inevitable bumps in the road. Thanks so much for watching and listening. For more information, go to cjakeandjanetrain.com or reach out to us for help.